And welcome back to VID Machine. You're watching the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy. Kaboom, kaboom, and super kaboom. Oh yeah, kaboom, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. This is the old school versus the modern. Old school versus the modern cards. Here we go, Steel Leaf Champion versus Ernham Jin. We have the Rancors and the Elves. What dare we in? I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end. Because everybody knows you're such, you're such a snowflake, yeah. And we're upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just, ooh, twins, Lanoir Elves. Wasted, feeling, going, speaking. You know why you crossed the line when I said that you were mine. Going, speaking, no hard feelings. Yeah, and here it comes, and then now here it comes. Here comes a 10 10 creature for Bible. Yeah, welcome back to the NBA machine. Hi, guys, hi, guys, hi, guy. Jig, no Tesaurus for 5 mana, 10 10. You will not get this. You will not get this in old school magic, as the new cards are clearly more superior to the old ones. But it's a good thing to actually watch these guys go. As you can see, we have Ernham Dijon right there. So we're just gonna have to redistribute him all across the deck. For some reason they got stuck together in the last Ernham episode. So, Ernham the John right there. Steel Leaf Champion right here. So, back then, a 4 four mana for a 4-5 was huge, but now, you can get a 5-4 for 3 mana. You can get a 4-5 for 3 mana with Leverback Balof. So, second turn, you can get a 4-5 or a 5-4. Then, Enchanted with Rancor to give it Trample, attack and attack and attack. And you have the ultimate, ultimate green deck. So, if these decks clashed, this deck will have a clear, the modern deck will have a clear advantage due to quality cards. Because old school cards, although the art is good, the nostalgia is great, modern cards are more superior, as you can see. Elvis Mystic. He's just chosen. And Lanoir Elves. So the deck is just super fast. I mean, look at it. Let's see this opening hand. Lanoir Elves are in them. This will always be a turn slower compared to the other deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, put these back here. Yeah, that's a wild growth. It's damage, so it's definitely marked. So there you have it. So let's see who goes first. Ah, this guy goes first. It has an advantage. Play a forest. Lanoir Elves, done. Draw a card. Play a forest, also Land of War Elves. It's a mirror match, guys. It's a definite mirror match. Argofian Pickies and the Scavenger Folk. And we're done. This guy plays Lanoir Tribe. And he's done. This guy plays Ernham the Jinn. I mean, he gives uh, Land of War Tribe Forest Swap. But we're not using Land of War Tribe for the Forest. Plays another land. We play Anissa's Chosen. Elvish Mystic. And done. Draw a card. Wild Growth and an Urnham Dijon attack. Takes four. Draw a card. Oh my god. Yeah, play an elf and then overrun. So overrun is the game changer here. So clearly, a much more superior deck. We didn't see the other creatures there, but if they did show up with Rancor, man, what a fast game. 
this would have been. And once again, this is the idea machine, but the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy signing off. Right now, oh yeah, right now, oh yeah, right now, oh yeah. If you did not watch the Game of Thrones yet, please do watch the Game of Thrones. And now we're putting them back, we're putting them back, we're putting the old school decks back against the new school decks. Old school versus new school, Giganotosaurus, oh yeah.